This is Angelus Dralopus and you're listening to my podcast. We're following up from the survival guide for teams and sponsors of Team Coaching. It has started from last podcast. What a team coach should know. Closing, we need to mention the extra knowledge that a team coach must have. And we're referring to a coach who's experienced and successful in individual coaching. One needs to have the knowledge of the development stages of a team, conflict management, for example, Thomas Gilman, team dynamics, systems theory, motivation theory, ethical standards, leadership types, energy management, communication toxins, and more. Epilogue, understanding the all the above, all that we have said in this series of team coaching podcasts, this requires due diligence, and for those who are going to design the team coaching program, for the sponsors of the program, for the team and its members, note that any process with a team is not team coaching and that the change does not happen overnight. Change is a process. The ultimate goal is to change people's behaviors and behavioral habits. Facilitate your team by applying the above guide. This will ensure that their choices will not be limited by their abilities. Let's pause for now at this section of the Survival Guide for Teams and Sponsors of Team Coaching and we will continue on our next podcast.